you look into what they must say. Because them have phrases and parables in front of what they must try to achieve from you. And now them put certain things in place to make you submit to the devil without even knowing. All right, I am Sh I am Asha Heights. I no can't see meat long time, but I can't see seafood. See, me was still bad, but it's way better than everything else. You understand? So. Me is a pescatarian. And time to come, I got cut out seafood too. You understand? But seafood are the best bad thing you can consume. Because it have the less blood and less starch. It have lead, but that not as herbal as when you eat the regular meat where blood and starch and everything else. You understand me, I say? So, what me I say, people, we have to start pay attention. Don't make people throw the word God at you like, they must speak about the Creator. You understand me, I say? So, when you hear somebody, oh, God say, God, which God? Which one? Me don't want to hear from the, the independent God them. I want to hear from the God of all gods. You understand? That I want to hear from. Yeah, hear them say something different. They must say, oh, one God, no, one God for you. A whole heap of God exists. You understand? So I hear them say the God of all gods and the kings of all kings. That is different from saying God. Why you think they would have differentiated? Why you think they would have separated and said God of all gods? Why? You don't need to say that if I want God. You don't need to say that if I want God. Why would you need to identify the God of all gods? If I want God, can I make a sense? Why do you need to say the king of all kings if I want king? Oh, that makes sense. Can I make a sense? understand so but that's what I want to understand say L.A. Lewis because I read that about Zin is not all stupid Zin L.A. Lewis is not all smart some people that think more that give more percentage as a lunatic more than somebody smart but me can't do that I have to be realistic me give him 60 40 60 in smartness and 40 in stupidity because what he has been able to accomplish and how he set himself so anyway it means he's very smart and he's not scared if he do the right thing see mama call him the right name the la choice la choice yeah Check your phone if somebody that call you as a drunker. What are the people? Yeah. Mm. Somebody say if me never miss eating meat. Of course, enough time. But that's how strong you know you is to temptation when you can be yearning for something and you resist. The yearning where you have feet and look past it. I can go in a restaurant to meet sell. I can go to KFC, my favorite place. When we used to love KFC so much. And I can go there, buy food for other people. And don't buy nothing for myself. Yeah, so. You know when you have ultimate self-control, 
when you can be wanting something so much and going at the presence of it and not touch it you understand you have to learn how to resist temptation you have to be a true soldier you understand what I'm saying one time I'm going to a restaurant and told the fried chicken smell good you know what I do that's because I oh I remember those days <laughs> that's it me never know me could have eaten honest to God me never know say me could have done it I've been doing it for years now years 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 years, years. and guess what you see because food is a drugs um, food operating in the body like cocaine or um, Mali or Xanax or any drug where you can take heroin anything so once you have a withdrawal from it, the body you got crave feet, you got be a fiend at the terrible part that when you just draw away from it and the body you beg you feed, you have to strong enough to stand up to your body and say, sit yourself down. No meat now going to the body. If you learn to conquer that, you can conquer anything. You can conquer anything. But you why me so disciplined now. You why it is easier for me with food than anything. Me that, me that resist whole heap of things in my life already. Because when you, as a person like me, take certain stance against certain things, zeal, Exactly. Them can control them perversion and them want everybody to agree with it so them can feel better about themselves. And that now go am me as a youth from an early stage me no say crutches now go eat by me. So me fight with the oppression panda and get whole by at girl where I say, Oh I'm dear, if you love me, them use every kind if you love me. Oh, me give my front. Oh, me give you blood. Java, you can. Girl, me did a bargain, born even. And a doofa doofa. You do me, do go suck your mother. So, me a face them back a long time. So, when it did come to stop consuming meat, it wasn't that hard for me. Come it done, train, oh, to resist certain things already. Remember one time I was addicted to going to Cassava Peace. As I wake a man in time, I go on the bridge. I used to do that so religiously till them used to say, at the office. I used to call it my office. So I tell somebody, say, yo, I'm there at the office. And I meet me up at the office. They know, say, at the bridge of Cassava Peace. That's like one of the hardest withdrawal I did have in my life. Not even consuming meat and nothing else. Never hard like that. When we decide, say, you know, so that they are bridge every day, something. Yeah. Now nah, go work. Your status rise. Zine. Your money rise. Your enemies rise. Now, when you reach a certain status, you have to be reachable only if you want to be reached. That was the toughest thing to come to terms with. Because them children will say, Oh, are you a place? Are you a place? Are you around your place? I want to you every day, every day, are you a place? So here where your enemy do you know. Them taunt you. Oh, you can't go in your place. Oh, you can't go sit down in the corner. Because they want to catch you. Because they don't know where to find you. So they use reverse psychology to make your ego play you if you go sit down in the corner. So them can do a ride, ride by or a drive by or walk by. And in your rain as I done. Me learned that from early. So that was my biggest withdrawal. Because it used to mad me. When me start disciplining myself. And wake up at the time. Come live up town. Long time. In a, in a gated community. Long time. But every day. Me I tell us as I wake up. Sometimes I don't even drink tea. I'm going to have a piece of the corner. 
and we go and buy breakfast run run my bridge in the bloody yard we send out a girl in Zilly Road go buy breakfast and we have my yard just because we want to hear yeah my boss yeah my dad my G what go on put up yo I have five bills that I done yo foot I here run up here I general I here ego and then sister then say you what you do do you know how important you are to yourself? Way I do. Let me say. The answer to them say, everybody else will call your boss and done. You think if you got a man in them, not going to call somebody else boss and done? But you not go there. And you are the only person not going to lose. Let me say. You know it makes sense? So, the, the answer to them say, calculate how much money you lose at the time by sitting in the corner. Let me start, look. Every five bills, every three bills, every thousand, every fifteen hundred, every school fee, every light bill, every doctor bill, everything you pay for the day. Just look into it. And they say, you know, it makes sense. And the universe say, some of them same people here, yeah, where you give money and take care, and them want to kill you now when shit is the fun. So why are you still going there to sit down to prove that you can sit down on a corner? When you have millions of dollars to make and not sitting on the corner make you save more money from the same people them want to kill you. And why they want to kill you? Because you're a good person. Because you elevate beyond them and somebody else will elevate or somebody feel like you need to go now because you have too much power. So why are you doing this? How is this even benefiting you? If you say foot the man, it, that can go a bank? That can pay a pity school fee? That, that can buy your car? Foot out of the man? Just ego, feeding your ego? You go dead. Either you go dead, or you go to prison. Or you go to hell. Because you can kill a whole of people, kill as much as you want to kill. You go to hell. Or you go to prison. Or you go dead. And if you kill a people, pick me innocently because a man violate you. And a man this. You're pitting them like a suffer. It's like a fall upon your pitting them shoulder. It's like a fall upon your brother and your sister them and your mother and your family them. So I say, all right, I'm here now. I'm going to get a tin of paint. I don't know if you remember, you know. I get a big tin of paint. One bridge of flat emotion, 303. Remember it like yesterday. I'm going to go up a castle of a piece. Everybody say me I eat it. Yeah. I carry police with me. I tell them say, you know, I want a radio car up there with me. Can I let me think of fish up? And I paint out my face out of the wall. And take away myself. Remember me got a castle of peace a million times after that, all the time every day. But I do not want to be stapled as not done. And Steep, that's not me. I run no place. Me not run no place. One time, when I used to say, I'm a place, I'm a place, no man to my place. My place is in my clothes. My shirt and my pants and my underpants are my place and my shoes. And my place that inside this vessel called my body is my place. The mentality they bought my place, my place. They will get enough people killed. And it's going to get enough people going to prison. I mean, never see a man dead yet and the place dead with him. Never. All the house where him dead left, somebody else living night. And the house would even vex and say, yo, make the house miserable as the people have come out. Come out of When you're dead, you will crash. You will crumble. And everything else continue. The operation continue. <laughs> so that's why I'm still there. That's why Futa Hype is still here. In the flesh. You understand? That's why I am still here in the flesh. My place is from my head top to my toe. That are my place. And anywhere me carry that vessel here, become my place. Anywhere the vessel there, my place. I'm not subjected to cassava peace all over. The world is mine. I'm not going to sit down on cassava peace corner 
and I run place for say on my place, the world is mine. You know what I'm saying? I all of you them with the mentality about your place, your place. Let go of that mentality, them, man. The longest liver shall tell, man. Anywhere your body there, your place, man. Anywhere, man. Anywhere. You get me? Stop the illusion, they bro. I have a place and you have to go up and can't any day. Any day you make people can't study you say you're always dead as well. You're a dead man. Whether you're a good youth or you're a bad youth, you're a dead man. I remember them, them not hunger earth people where they're bad enough. Them not hunger earth people where they're bad, them earth good people too. CJ King Entertainment, real youth. Remember, Usain Bolt is a good youth. Usain Bolt is a good youth. Do so much good for the country. And the country team up and rob him. You understand? Yeah. Them team up and rob him. So, you know, escape it whether you're a good youth or not. Only the longest liver shall tell that I will know. Matter which way I come from. Nobody can trick me about your place. Everywhere my place. Obviously, not like immigrants. Somebody asked me what I think about the man of Florida, though. He's not like immigrants. But you are something got to give. Cause you are not. Him not like immigrant. But him not like fish either. Him burn out spread to the ground. And him protect children. So him put him implement a whole heap of good thing. But him just a racist. I'ma tell you already, me can deal with a racist more than deal with a pedophile or an alphabet boy. So this Santos. My earth or him not really rate immigrant, but my rate or him burn out alphabet people and burn out rapists and burn out all of them something. There. So something got to give. I remember him say, Florida got to be the youngest state where you still can use your cash. Him not, him not go cashless, which is very important. Cause cash is power. So we can't just look for one thing about immigration. It's unfortunate that we are immigrant. Just very unfortunate. But something got to give. You have to try to straighten out your life or something. You understand what I'm saying? Because me rather deal with a racist than a rapist, than an alphabet boy. Or it will be all immigrant, illegal immigrant, you matter about. Can't be all immigrant. Virgin, if you're there as an immigrant and you have a green car, then you have your, your something there, or you can't do nothing. You might talk about for the illegal immigrant them. And then because you know so some man there in New York, them illegal and pressure reach them in New York, then it comes a boom and move down to Florida. Use them New York ID so you might eliminate that too. So you might say if you have New York ID, you can't come down here. You have to come get your, your, your Florida status for live down here. You understand me? I say? So you might put some very harsh um, measures for illegal immigrants. But, may I tell you, God shoot. I can more live with that than a legalized alphabet and a illegal, legalized pedophile and child abuse and them things that him shut down the whole of them something there. So I have to rate him for that, Regin. So something got to give to me better than Andrew. What Andrew do to we in Jamaica worse than what he had done. Because I never hear and you come out and speak up for straight people yet, you know. Never once, you know. It's like I'm here, Delora Chuck come say, no, he's not dealing with a gay marriage thing. He's not dealing yet, if ever. Because Delora Chuck try to cover him tracks, you know. Me never hear Angie only show me that video there. I had something where Angie only come out and say, listen to me. I straight miss me a deal. He has never done that. You understand? And Angie are the people that are wicked. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is, although the centers are putting him foot in an illegal immigrant neck, 
we still have to look upon the amount of other greatness where they man implement based upon morals, bro. You understand my back say? Not for my friend, them are illegal immigrant and either them are going left Florida or something, but something got to give. But me, 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 Florida got to be the state where people with morals can actually live. Me hear Bruce Golden come out, come say not in my cabinet, where we right? Me hear PG where the wall on a cuss, say him not a personal law. Born a body man thing. See, I know me hear Delroy Chuck come say it now. Say him nah, approve, no gay marriage. I have never heard Andrew speak anything in defense for straight people. Never. Never in my life. So, me just can't be a hypocrite, me, Jean. Andrew, after go, you better time give Delora a check the party for run. Me would have voted for Delora a check right now. Just a speech there alone, me would have voted for Delora a check. I would vote for Delora a check right now. Right now. Delroy Chuck could I get my vote for Labour right right now. Andrew got try run with Delroy Chuck. You know? Andrew got try get out Delroy Chuck out of the party. Watch. But <laughs> don't watch out TV live yet. Watch out TV live yet. <laughs> Andrew heard out Delroy make a speech right now. I remember Andrew tell Canada that he might go get gender equality done in Jamaica. You might take your money already. You yeah, understand? You know more asking you something? From what you have to ask you now? Information. Who are the Minister of Information? You know, you know, you know find out that and tell me. You know tell me who are the Minister of Information, please. Somebody tell me why Minister of Information. Please and thanks. Somebody tell me who are the Minister of Information, please. Ah, 12. Ah, no, you can't give me no jewel for advertise here, brother. Make more straight nation chain them and promote the company, Bridget. Nesta Morgan. Okay, me know Nesta Morgan. He the Minister of Information. Okay. So let me ask this question now. Is the Minister of Information... Does the in Minister of Information have any regulatory position over media? I want to try to understand something before I start hand on judgment. I want to know if the Minister of Information information is responsible for regulating the media like the national paper the national tv station things that are national based like things that represent the country that may i wonder more i know more than like no because if if the Minister of Information has any power over our national newspaper and our national TV station, one time at the JBC, wait name now, TVJ, Television Jamaica, and then they have Jamaica Green and Jamaica Star. Those are branded with the word Jamaica. I think those are our national paper and national TV station, right? 
or somebody say no you don't so who is responsible for regulating the information that is presented on these platforms that represent the country People are that information they want. Come in, I want me no want beat Nesta Morgan and him not deserve it, you know. No, but you know, understand broadcasting commission have to come under some line of government. I mean, I think are the minister of information would I regulate information that the media houses that represent the country put forward. All right, see, it come back to me. I say, them say, broadcasting commission, which reports to the Ministry of Information. So me know me not too stupid. Me know me not too stupid. Me know me not stupid. People, enough people as me a fool, but me know me not fool. The Ministry of Information have to have something to do with the broadcasting commission. Right? So, this is my next question. How, since recent times, has the Jamaica Gleaner, TVJ, and Jamaica Star, I don't even have to say Jamaica Star, because Star fall under the Gleaner Company. How, can they be promoting and distributing these kinds of content without any regulation or ridicule or no form of disciplinary action like them are promote things that just go against our cultural values go, goes against the laws that the country abides by because boogering is still illegal based on what we know and once boogering is illegal that means homosexuality is illegal as well because homosexuality derives from boogering so i am wondering are these people pushing an agenda have they been bought out are they a part of the agenda are the people who are calling the shots pushing their personal feelings and beliefs on the nation via government media that's what me want to know that's what me want to know even if you are referring to freedom of the press it does not mean that the press can promote what goes against the constitution and what goes against the laws of the corporation because free press of freedom free post public information you think so the people can just get up and, and, and say something about you where they not approve of publicly you're mad they cannot do that so what I'm saying is there's a governing body that govern what goes on the front page of the paper and goes a governing body where query what goes into the paper something is wrong something is wrong my belief not a fact my belief my assumption is that there are a lot of people who are calling the shots that are gay. And they might use the medium of the Jamaica information media bases to promote them nasty life. 
That's my honest belief. And I stopped, I put to it. 